Eagle Nation, it's Whitney Hayworth, thrilled to be joined by Carter Collins, the head coach of the Georgia Southern men's golf team. Coach Collins, last time you and I got to talk on camera was in May. You all were heading to the NCAA regionals up at Clemson. Mm -hmm. One of the best quotes that you gave me at that time was that it's now time for a number of players to step out of the shadows and create a new team. And that's exactly what we're doing as we look ahead to the 2023 fall season. So tell me about this new team that you have. Yep, I mean, first of all, proud to be at NCAA Regionals. That's always a huge accomplishment for our program. Um, it's not all the goals that we want to check off from last year, but, you know, very proud of what the team accomplished. Um, but yeah, there's a transition every year. We've gone through this a good bit from from old to new. And this year we have a fresh fresh team, some fresh faces, and um, very excited about what they've been able to do so far to get ready for the season. Talk about those fresh faces. Obviously, you've got Reese Coleman mm -hmm. and Bryson Jones are two of the individuals that come in here. Both one a freshman, one a transfer. Mm -hmm. So, how have they impressed you thus far? Oh, they've been very impressive. Um, I mean, the golf course is the most visible part of what they're here for, but they've been great behind the scenes. Uh, team chemistry, uh, even leadership. Um, you know, the academic side is early, but they've been really solid in that. So, they've done way more than we've asked them to do so far. They've been great student athletes and great teammates. So um, if they stay on the path they're on, they're going to have uh, phenomenal careers here at Georgia Southern. And you look at your returners, obviously, you know, Parker Claxton was impressive as a freshman last year, but you've got Brantley, Baker, and then Luke Dasher as captain. So mm -hmm. what about those three and then others have been impressive thus far? Um, well, the captain specifically, I mean, Luke and Brantley were selected by their teammates to be team captains, and, and they've served that role extremely well so far. Uh, but you, you look at the whole team, what they've been able to do so far. We've got an eight rounds of qualifying, plus a lot of different structured practices out here. Our golf facility, um, they've selected captains, they've gotten used to school. It's been a very busy stretch for them. We, we hit the ground running as soon as we started. And, um, you know, the, the whole team is progressing in a good direction. The chemistry has been great. The energy has been phenomenal. Um, and, you know, it's our job as, as coaches to keep things going in that direction. When you dive into your fall schedule, you started off at the Valero Texas Collegiate getting mm -hmm. a chance to play TPC San Antonio where the PGA Tour has their stop there. Mm. Um, you know, when you look at that tournament individually, what does it mean to be able to play a course such as that that the pros get to play? Phenomenal opportunity uh, to compete at, a, like you said, a pro level golf course, but to compete against uh, the, the teams that are at this tournament is wonderful to compete for the individual uh, winner of this tournament will earn a spot in the PGA Tour event, so have that opportunity for our student athletes is phenomenal. Um, but yeah, the, the overall opportunity for all of our terms this fall to grow, to compete, to get better, to find out about ourselves, figure out what exactly we all need to work on, those are just phenomenal opportunities. So that's what we're excited about. Another highlight to the fall season is getting to play in the Bush Cup versus Army yep. West Point at Congaree. Again, similar situations, a prestigious course. So, and that's a different setup of a tournament. So, mm -hmm. describe that one a little bit. Yeah, so that's going to be a one v one. So, us versus uh, us versus uh, Army West Point, and it'll be competed at Congaree. Uh, Army has rented out the golf course for a couple of days. It'll be a very exclusive um, event between us two, our two programs. And anytime you you're associated with uh, an Armed Forces uh, Service Academy, is an you know it's an honor for us to compete against them um, and to compete with them. So that week will be very special for us. Um, we all have a ton of matter, uh, admiration for what they do, and to be able to give them a great experience, to give them some great competition for that week is going to be a special week for our program. And then the other tournaments this fall, familiarity, you go back up to Notre Dame, you're mm -hmm. going to Johnson City with ETSU's tournament. So what, what does that mean for this team to go back to tournaments and have that you know, familiarity with courses and, and also potentially the teams that they're facing? That's an important part of what we do as coaches, setting up schedule. You know, we don't like the turnover to be so much that they're having to learn golf courses every single week. We like for the guys to at least have a knowledge of the golf course and obviously things change over a year and the competition changes and every field that we're in this fall has strengthened from where it was last year. Um, so it's going to be elite competition every single week, but you're right, we do have some of that experience that we can learn how to attack the golf course a little quicker, get a little more comfortable on it quicker, um, and that those are some of the perks of being at some of the same terms we were last year. But overall, I mean, it's just phenomenal opportunities each and every week, and uh, we're, we're going to get better regardless. Well, it's always an exciting time to be an Eagle coach. I can't wait to see what this team brings you this season, especially this fall as you kick things off in Texas. So best of luck. Thank you very much.